Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial to download Tempo data from the NASA website. Uh, before getting into that, I just want to show some websites that may be relevant to get some background information. Here's the NASA Tempo mission page. Here's the NASA uh, uh, Tempo uh, Harvard Smithsonian page. It has a lot of relevant information. And then this is the uh, website that has a all the hosting, it's the NASA ASDC website, um, has some information about um, the instrument itself when it was launched, but then also the user guides can be downloaded here at the bottom. Before going any further, I wanna just uh, add that I will be using this extension for Google Chrome called the Chrono Download Manager. If you don't have it installed on your computer yourself, um, I recommend pausing the video here, downloading this, installing it on your computer, and potentially using it for um, downloading the data. So without further ado, let's try and download some of the data. To download the data, go to the search.earthdata.nasa.gov. Um, this is going to be your main portal to access the data. We can see that the, right now there's about 10,000 uh, data sets on the uh, NASA archive, so quite a bit, but we're going to want to narrow it down to just focus on the Tempo data. In fact, we're just going to focus just on the Tempo NO2 data for this tutorial. So we're going to type in Tempo NO2, and then the data is currently provisional, so we'll type that in as well. And if we do this search, we now ha only have two matching collections show up. There is the level two data and the level three data noted here in the description, although the header information does not have this. So you have to read the descriptions here, level two and level three. Level three means that it is gridded onto a regular uh, rectangular grid, and this is just the native pixel resolution of Tempo. So we're gonna focus on level two data for today, but we can very easily uh, the same uh, strategy can be used to download the level three data. So let's first focus on the level two data. Um, we have 55,000 matching granules. So if you were to click here, we would download 55,000 files. Let's try and subset that. So we're not downloading the full tempo data set in this tutorial. Um, first, we'll want to subset by time. So let's just choose recent as of this recording a recent date, which would be say January 15th. Um, we do start and end date the same, but of course, if you want a longer time frame, choose your date range that you would like to see. Um, as a note, uh, some of the measurements over the Western United States, these occur after zero UTC. So it might have the next day in the file name because UTC is already past midnight in UTC, but it's still the local time. Of, of the current day. So just be careful if you're downloading, especially during the summertime. Okay, so the next step potentially would be to subset over a specific domain. So let's drag this over to uh, North America domain, just using your cursor here. Um, I'll just uh, subset, you click this box here, I'll just subset over say the Washington DC area. So we currently have about 100 granules over the entire North American continent. But if we just focus in on say the Northeastern United States, we're only gonna get um, about uh, either 10, I think I, uh, if we just focus in here on this area, only about um, 10 uh, matching granules on this particular day. So let's just download uh, these 10 granules, approximately 10 hours worth of data on this particular day. Um, there's two different ways to download the data. We can either use Harmony or we can download all the data as the native files. So I will download all the data, but I will quickly show an example using Harmony. This can subset the files quite dramatically and make the file sizes much, much smaller if that's of interest of, to you um, instead of about one gigabyte worth of data, we can narrow it down to almost uh, one or two megabytes worth of data on this particular day. So we have to choose the, the Samba uh, service here. Um, then we can combine, we'll combine the data, just tem temporal subsetting to a single day. And then spatial subsetting um, is really gonna be the thing that's gonna drive down the size of the files. And then also if we wanna edit the variables, say we want just geolocation, and the product, um, 
though that will substantially also reduce the file size as well. But let's just go back and um, instead uh, download all data uh, instead. I'll just click done here. Um, again, we have about this one gigabyte worth of, of data in 10 different files, download the data. Um, this will then show up uh, a different web page. This here, the download status website. Um, we're just choosing 10 files, so this loads automatically. If I were to say downloading a thousand files, it might take a minute or two to populate. Um, and then here are the 10 files to download. There are multiple different ways that you can download the files from here. Um, I have a preferred me method, and but I will just quickly describe the other methods that I don't use, but that you could use. Um, you could use the AWS script to access it on AWS. If you're doing a lot of your workflow there, that would make the most sense for you. You could also download um, using the download script. This is preferable, especially if you're using a Linux-based system to download. Um, just check out this script here to download yourself. And then even when you click download files, there's actually two different ways. Um, the most obvious would be to click this button right here. This will actually open up a different program called the Earth Data Download, which is a software program that you need to install ahead of time. Or if you click this link, it'll prompt you to download that, that software. Um, I found it to be a little bit buggy, but maybe you'll find it to be good for your applications. The way that I actually um, download the data here is I use something called the Chrono Download Manager. I already have it installed on my computer. And you click this link up here. Um, it's download all the resources on this page. And we can actually download all the types, all the files, all the PMG files, et cetera, if we wanted to. Of course, we don't want to. We just want to download those NetCDF files here. So there's 10 NetCDF files. Click Download All, and it will start downloading those 10 files. Sometimes there might be uh, an issue um, with uh, this downloading. Um, sometimes it tries opening up another page when you do that. So one way to uh, re-access this data is to then go back into your portal here. Um, if you then click on Download Status and History, um, it saves that, that uh, search that you just did and um, you can access that. You can re-click here and uh, just go back to that same search that we just did. Um, and uh, you know, after that, you'll have your, your downloads uh, accessible to you. And uh, you can uh, the next tutorial that I'll show will be what do the variables mean and uh, how do we make a plot from that data. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, I hope this was informative for you.